A leading charity claims that a perfect storm of council budget cuts and changes to funding for temporary accommodation could undermine Scotland's progress on homelessness. Shelter warns that unless services are protected, the country is facing a potentially catastrophic situation. The Scottish Government says it's working with local authorities to tackle challenges. Sharon Frew reports. Where did you sleep last night? Last night at next to the bar. <laughs> it's dry. Robert has slept rough in Glasgow for 15 years. The 38-year-old says this is all he has in the world. A small plastic bag, a pair of gloves and a sleeping bag. People walk past sometimes and laugh at you. Check your cup there and all that. And you're treated like the, the scum of the earth. You know what I mean? Which isn't it right? I'm a human being. Just a few streets away from where Robert slept last night, those responsible for delivering services for the homeless voiced their concerns. The housing minister heard calls for funding to be protected. It's feared that council budget cuts, the rollouts of universal credit and changes to housing benefit will all have an impact on services. Well, I think the consequences could be really significant. I think we would potentially see a, a sharp rise in people presenting as homeless if, they, if the services aren't there the, to get in early to prevent them from ever getting to that point. We're working, we're talking to local authorities, we're in discussion, we're in dialogue, we're talking to third sector organisations, we're talking to shelter because it is about working together to get a solution. Homelessness can happen to anyone at any time. Susan Alexander was one of the 35,000 people who last year made a homeless application. But a 39-year-old lost her housing benefit when she started university and is now paying for expensive temporary accommodation while waiting on social housing. The debt's building up um, and that's a worry. You know, I'm not looking for handouts or anything like that or I'm just looking for something stable and permanent that I can call home. Those with more chaotic lifestyles out of reach or unwilling to engage with council services often end up here. Up to 40 people will sleep in this emergency shelter tonight. To meet demand, this winter service has been extended until the end of this month. Bluntly, yes, there's a shortage of appropriate accommodation. So people going into bed and breakfast isn't necessarily appropriate accommodation for somebody with complex needs. However, it is a roof over their head. With the Scottish parliamentary elections drawing near, campaigners say all political parties need to spell out how they'll tackle this housing shortage and help Scotland's homeless. If I a houseman, I'd take a house this thing. Not I mean, I'd love me and me houseman. Not I mean, I'd have to do this every day. Sharon Frew, STV News, Glasgow.